Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Food Tech 360. In this video, we are giving an introduction to the topic food fortification. This video will be helpful for those who are preparing for Kerala PSC Food Safety Officer exam and other competitive exams. So watch the video till end. Without any further delay, let's get started. Fortification is adding nutrients to the food even though the nutrient is already present in food. Fortification is done to improve the nutritive value whereas the process of improving the nutrient levels of nutrients which might be lost during processing in food by special method called enrichment. Food fortification is the addition of key vitamins and minerals such as iron, iodine, zinc, vitamin A and D to staple foods such as rice, milk and salt to improve their nutritional content. These nutrients may or may not have been originally present in the food before processing. Currently, Indian government is promoting fortification in following 5 food items such as rice, salt, edible oil, milk and wheat. First, we will see the fortification of rice. Rice fortification is a cost-effective, culturally appropriate strategy to address micronutrient deficiency in country with high per capita rice consumption. Rice is a staple food of India. As per the Department of Agriculture Cooperation and Farmers Welfare, India's rice production has increased at compound annual growth rate of 1.43% during 2005-06 to and 2016-17. India was the second leading rice producer followed by Indonesia and Bangladesh in 2015-16. Fortifying rice makes it more nutritious by adding vitamins and minerals in post-harvest phase, many of which are lost during the milling and polishing process. Rice fortification may be considered as having the highest potential to fill the gap in current staple food fortification programs as it is staple food of 65% of Indian population and reaches the most vulnerable and poorer section with the highest uptake in the government safety net programs. The Food and Civil Supplies Department of each state empanels a number of rice millers in each district for regular supply of rice to the FCI from which it is distributed to the social safety net schemes. Next, we will see fortification of salt. Double fortified salt is an innovative new fortified food product delivering small but crucial amounts of iodine and iron to human beings through their diet. In general, double fortified salt formulations are intended to provide 100% of daily dietary iodine requirement and approximately 30 to 60 percentage of daily dietary iron requirement. Dual fortification of salt with iodine and iron could be the sustainable approach to combat iodine and iron deficiency. India's National Institute of Nutrition that is NIN has pioneered the development of double fortified salt. NIN has also taken the initiative to transfer the technology to iodized salt manufacturers in the country and provides continuous quality control support. Third one is fortification of edible oil. Multiple micronutrient deficiencies are spreading in India and continue to be significant public health problems, which adversely impact the health and productivity of all the population groups. More than 57% of children suffer from vitamin A deficiency, which may be symptomatic or present at the subclinical level. In addition, a high proportion of pregnant women and their newborns suffer from vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is also considered to play an important role in decreasing the risk of many chronic illness including common cancers, autoimmune diseases, infectious diseases, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. As per Household Consumer Expenditure Survey in India, NSSO Report 2011, consumption of oil is reasonably high about 20 to 30 grams per person per day and is consumed by all population groups. Since Vitamin A and D are fat-soluble vitamins. Fortification of edible oils and fat with vitamin A and D is a good strategy to address micronutrient malnutrition and fortified oil is known to provide 25% to 30% of the recommended dietary allowance for vitamin A and D. Fourth one is fortification of milk. Milk is a rich source of high-quality protein, calcium and fat-soluble vitamins A and D. Vitamins A and D are lost when milk fat is removed during processing. Many countries have a mandatory provision to add back 
the vitamins removed as it can be done easily. It is called replenishment as the nutrient loss during processing are added back. Fortification of milk with vitamin A and vitamin D is required in India because of the widespread deficiency presence in population. A recent National Nutrition Monitoring Bureau survey and a report of expert group of ICMR in 2012 has stated that India has very high burden of vitamin A and D deficiencies among both young children and adults, particularly in urban areas, are physically less active and have a very limited exposure to sunlight. Since milk is consumed by all population groups, fortification of milk with certain micronutrients is a good strategy to address micronutrient malnutrition. India is the largest producer of milk in the world with 146.3 million tons of production and per capita availability of 322 grams per day. The dairy industry in India has progressed from a situation of scarcity to that of plenty. Fifth and final one is fortification of wheat. As per National Nutrition Monitoring Bureau Survey 2012, the average intake of cereals and millets was 375 grams per consumption unit per day providing greater than or equal to 70% of recommended daily intake. Wheat is a staple food for most Indians in wheat growing areas such as North, West and Central India and is consumed in form of homemade chapatis or rotis using custom milled atta which is nothing but whole wheat flour. For the year 2018-19, to wheat consumption is forecasted at 93 million metric tons. Therefore, wheat flour is selected as a suitable vehicle for fortification to improve the nutritional status of mass population. Kerala PSC Food Safety Officer Examiner Prepare Jayanur Kuendi Food Tech 360 or a special course launch day. This course is the syllabus the unit wise test series, important topics in the study materials, standard reference ebooks, mock test, previous year question papers. This course is available on Food Tech 360 Android app. Aana. So, now we have a Google Play Store and the app download. The app download the link in the video description. If you are an iPhone user, you will follow the procedure in the video description. The procedure follow the app use the app. If you join the app, you will have a special discount for the special discount. We have a complete details in this course. We have a link in the separate video description. The video is available in the description. So, if you join this course, you will start the preparation for the course. If you have any doubts about this course related to the end of the day, you can contact us on the WhatsApp number. So, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Foodtech360. Thank you.